Hey guys, in today's video we'll be talking about 4G LTE network architecture in a simplified way. So let's dive right in and let's have a look at 4G LTE network architecture. Let's start by looking at the 4G LTE network architecture in isolation, which means without the 3G network. Unlike 2G and 3G networks, the 4G LTE network is packet switched only, so there's no circuit switch part. And what does that mean? It means that all services in 4G LTE, including voice calls, text messages, and mobile data, are delivered over IP or internet protocol. In simple terms, it means over mobile internet. Of course, it doesn't mean that there's any compromise on the service quality. On the contrary, there are very specific requirements on service quality for voice calls for voice over LTE, VoLTE service. Now let's start looking at the general flow of things in this high-level architecture. The mobile phone connects to the base station E node B or evolved node B. As you may recall, the base station in 3G UMTS is called node B. So this one in 4G is called the evolved version of node B. Now why do you think they're saying that? What has evolved here? What is the evolution? Well, terminologies are terminologies, but one very important aspect of Evolve Node B is that it is not only a base station, but also a network controller. You may recall that in the 2G and 3G networks, there is a controller entity in the radio network architecture called Radio Network Controller or RNC in 3G and Base Station Controller or BSC in 2G. In LTE, E node B handles both the base station and network controller functions. E node B is connected to the Mobility Management Entity, MME, which takes care of all the signaling and exists in the control plane. MME is connected to the Home Subscriber Server, which is the equivalent of HLR. The E node B also connects to Serving Gateway or SGW, which is the equivalent of SGSN in 3G. Serving Gateway is in the user plane and is responsible for routing and forwarding data packets. Since 4G LTE is all about data packets, Serving Gateway is the main node that connects the LTE radio network, E node B, to the LTE core network, the Evolved Packet Core or EPC. PDNGW or Packet Data Network Gateway connects the EPC to outside networks including the internet. PDN Gateway is also connected to the Policy and Charging Rules function, PCRF, which is a platform where all the business rules reside. So business rules like, for example, how to charge or bill a customer. The EPC works alongside IMS or IP Multimedia Subsystem for Voice over LTE to enable data-based or packet-switched voice calls and text messages. Text messages or SMS, same thing. Let's now look at a combined architectural view of 3G UMTS and 4G LTE. As you can see, the E node B in 4G is the counterpart of the node B and RNC combined in 3G. SGW or Serving Gateway in 4G is the equivalent of SGSN in 3G. SGSN and Serving Gateway are both connected to MME and are also connected to each other. Finally, PDN Gateway in 4G is the equivalent of GGSN in 3G. Thank you for watching the video guys. I've written a detailed post on this topic and the link is in the description. If you like this video, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos all the time.